welcome back to the channel and welcome to another styling try on haul situation today we're doing H&M and this video was actually pretty requested I think it's a brand that's obviously available worldwide as well as it's pretty affordable you can order online you can go into stores whatever um, I ordered all of this online just because I find the store to be kind of overwhelming plus I feel like you don't get I mean there's just such a huge selection that I feel like you get the biggest selection online and I found some amazing pieces. I used to shop at H&M literally all the time. It was like my number one back in like college as well as when I lived in Japan. I shopped at H&M all the time. I feel like they have really good basics. They have really good trendy pieces. Their quality can be kind of hit or miss for me honestly and I'll talk a little bit about that in this video but I know that you can find some really trendy pieces that at a really good affordable rate and I've noticed they started doing more like recycled fabrics which I mean I love that's awesome so yeah let's get into it I showed you guys a couple of different outfits from the pieces that I picked up I hope you guys like this style if you do let me know by giving me a big thumbs up as well as letting me know in the comments down below which brand do you want to see next so I have a bunch of other ones from Target Walmart Abercrombie all that good stuff I will link those previous ones that I have down below and let's get started all right so you guys are gonna notice I picked up a ton of fall pieces lots of sweaters sweater vests because I was on a mission to find more affordable sweater vests you guys know I um, in my recent Abercrombie haul I picked up a sweater vest and I fell in love with it and then I was like uh, are there any more affordable quality pieces because I still feel like sweater vest is a trendy piece so you might necessarily not want to invest in one so you'll see I got some good stuff but let's start with this first sweater I have a sweater like this this color from H&M but it's a longer style and now it just like doesn't do anything for my body shape I feel like um, I don't know I think I go through trends where I was wearing a lot of leggings back in the day and now I'm wearing more jeans and I want like a more fitted not cropped sweater but you'll see what I mean I love this color it's kind of like an oatmeal-y tan color it's got different colors within it which I love like a light and dark um, I think it was I mentioned and normally I wouldn't think of this color to go with my hair type like are they my hair color I feel like it would look better with brunettes but I honestly love this sweater. I do find that the fabric um, that H&M uses for their sweaters can be kind of itchy but again if it bothers you you can always you know wear a tank top underneath it but it doesn't bother me at all I love this color I love the fit of this sweater I will probably try to get it in another color for sure okay the real hit you guys and I hesitate to try jeans from other brands because Abercrombie is just always been my go-to jeans since I was like in high school or middle school I've worn Hollister Abercrombie jeans I just feel like they do it so well but y'all I was I was trying to find a pair of mom jeans that looked good fit good and all that on me uh, because y'all saw my fail in my recent Abercrombie haul where I tried a pair of mom jeans on and y'all were like no return those girl and I was like I know so these are a mom jean they're the mom ankle these fit completely different than what you see online like completely different for me anyways I went with size 2 because that's typically what I am as a 26 or a size 2 um and I'm not gonna lie these are a bit snug and I might try the fours just because they're a super super stretchy material which I love they look like rigid denim though they do not look stretchy at all um I do just notice a little bit of stretching at the like button jean like the button fly area I feel like it just is a little too snug for my liking so I would go up to a four um and lucky for me they have it at my local H&M so I'm probably gonna grab those as soon as possible but I'm pretty sure they're doing free shipping I don't know when that ends to be honest with you but if you're not part of their reward program you really should be because they give you a bunch of different discounts and things like that as well they actually it's a good reward system but anyhow these jeans are amazing they're not like that weird tapered fit but they still just they're great they're amazing so run you can get these jeans i love them i know lighter jeans typically are more of a summer thing but I think it can be really cute for winter with darker colors or whatever. I don't know. I just fell in love with these jeans and I went to look and see what other colors they have and they have a gray and like a bone like white color. So I might get the gray ones as well. But these are like my new favorite denim, you guys. I am literally so impressed with these and they were like, I don't even know. I don't know prices on these, but I will link everything, like I said, down below. 
amazing, amazing mom jeans. Now, to style it, I threw on, you guys saw in my most recent Walmart haul, if you checked it out, I grabbed this blazer, and I know it's kind of like a monochromatic look because it's all the same kind of colors, but I really like it. It would look great with a black sweater underneath as well. But I love this blazer. I just think it dresses it up a little bit more. You just look a little more professional and you just add a layer if it's cold out. So I love this look. And then I threw on pretty much with every outfit if I wore shoes because y'all, I busted my toe at the gym. I dropped a big old barbell on my toe and I can't put shoes on and I can barely walk. So these are the shoes that I wore and these are gonna be a staple for me all fall. I did pick these up at Target like two years ago or maybe last year, I'm not certain, but I love them. You can get like these kind of mule slides anywhere. Steve Madden sells them. I don't know. I love them and I think they're really cute with an ankle skinny jean or an ankle mom jean, um, especially in the fall because I think they just kind of, they're casual because they're slip-ons, but they're still dressy. So absolutely love those and you need like a staple pair of those kind of like loafery shoes for the fall, I believe so. Moving along, this next sweater is what I'm wearing right now. This sweater, so my shipment went in two different orders and this sweater like, was in the second shipment and I was like, if I don't get it, I'm gonna be so sad because I love it. So if you guys watched my recent Abercrombie haul, I keep talking about that. Um, I tried on a fitted, like collared sweater and it just was not me, but this is me. It's a looser fitting. It's almost bat wing sleeved. It's kind of like not long sleeve. It's like three quarter length sleeve. Remember when that was a trend? I love it. Um, I love this sage green. Again, kind of itchy, but very soft. Um, but I love the collar. I love the deep V. I just feel like it's so, oh, it's my perfect sweater. I feel like it is so cute. It's not your basic, boring, plain crew neck sweater. It's got a little bit of pizzazz to it, but it's, oh, it's so good. So love this. Again, if they have this in another color, I feel like, do I need it? I don't know. It's just so pretty. I love it. So yes. Also with the sizing, I will link all the sizes that I ordered down below. Cause to be honest with you guys, I feel like again, like the sizing chart is not it on H and M. So I went from like extra, extra, extra small, to extra small to medium to large. like I all across the board. So check out down below to kind of see what sizes I am. And I'll leave my measurements and things down below. Okay. So I picked up, like I said, some basics. I love H and M for some basics and I just needed a plain black long sleeve, like structured button down, button up, button down. I don't know, whatever you call it. Now these aren't the best quality. They're, they're cheap. They, but honestly I wear them under things or I like to refresh them every so often just because I feel like they can kind of with washes become like dingy and like not hold their structure and whatnot. So I wanted to pick up a fresh clean one for this year. I only have like a satin one in black, like not satin, but it's like a soft cotton, not a structured. So I wanted this especially to wear with like, um, sweater vests, sweaters, things like that. So I just grabbed a basic piece like this, again, at affordable rate. This one I got in an extra small um, because it was like an oversized. So it's still oversized even in an extra small. So do not go true to size with this guy. Like I said, pay attention to the sizes that I leave down below if you want it to fit similar to how I showed how I style it. Um, but love this and I think it's just a good basic. Okay, a pair of jeans that I think kind of failed for me, you guys. I don't know, I think they're just, like I said, a bit too tight. A two is too tight for me, I think, at H&M. Um, but these are their wide leg, high-waisted pants. They're stretchy, again, they're a light wash. They've got some slight ripping to them. The length is good. Um, it's just, I feel like they just don't do anything amazing for me. But if you're looking for affordable wide leg jeans, like I said, check out H&M. I think that they, they could be a hit just for me. I don't know, let me know. In the, in the comments down below, sound off on everything. Sound off on what your opinions are, uh, whether I should keep things or, or send them back. I don't keep everything from my hauls. I do a ton of clothing hauls to try to show you what is out there for the season and what I'm loving and how I would style it. And you can take and pick and piece whatever you like feel that you don't have in your wardrobe. And for me, I don't keep everything. I keep what I'm in obsessed with. And these I feel like we're not obsessed with. Not bad, but just not obsessed with. But to go with that black, um, 
shirt what I wanted it for is specifically for this sweater vest and I will say I was kind of I mean it was like $13 a sweater vest but I was kind of disappointed in the quality I got this in a small and I really could have sized down I would say it's pretty boxy um but it's still cute I just feel like it's very thin so if you live in like a warmer climate and you want to rock the sweater vest trend but you can't you'll literally be sweating like here in dallas i guess i would say you could go with it the back is completely blank it does have the stripes to go around but i just feel like overall i was kind of let down with the the thinness of this but again like i said if you're trying to follow the trend but you live in a super hot climate this like the thickness of this might be totally fine for you or again if sweater vests are just something you want to try it's a trend um you're not looking to invest a ton of money in it it's not bad not a bad deal but um i went ahead and paired them with some skinny jeans because i just thought it would be too much with like a pair of like mom jeans i felt like you needed to go a little more thin at the bottom so these are just a staple pair you can see these all the time in my try on videos i'll link them down below they're abercrombie um i think you just cannot go wrong with a dark pair of skinny jeans especially when you want to wear chunky sweaters on top i feel like it kind of balances it out so I also styled that black button up just plain. I love a front tuck, a one front tuck, into a pair of dark skinny jeans with this little felt hat. So um, I have a tan felt hat, but I do not have a black tan hat or a black felt hat. I got mine in a small, you guys, and honestly, it's like borderline too small for my big old head. I don't know, it's super cute though. I wish I wore hats more often, so I'm keeping this to see if it'll inspire me to wear more hats, but I love a good felt hat. This is super structured. Okay, so like I said, with the black, I just needed to refresh my basics, so I got a white button-up, button-down, whatever you call it, um, as well, just to like refresh, you know? Not looking dingy, looking fresh, structured. I actually got this one in an XXS, just because I wanted it to be more fitted, and it's still big, so size down like seriously size down this is just a great basic again not super thick kind of see-through not like high quality so if this is something you wear all the time definitely you could invest more in it but this is still good for me i got it to wear with like sweaters and things like that but you could please basically just wear it with plain which i love a crisp white button down and some dark jeans so cute i went ahead and got this now i have not followed the shacket trend um that was last year i just didn't get into it but this is a like wool i don't know if it's full wool no it's 52 percent recycled polyester it feels wool it's kind of like a like stretchy jacket it does not feel like a structured jacket it's really nice it does actually have pockets but i haven't unstitched them yet i need to know what do you guys think about this i think it's a really nice like kind of statement piece but it's also not super bold because it's blue so i feel like you can kind of you know dress it up dress it down i could wear a plain t-shirt with it i could wear the brown the white button down like i showed you let me know what do you think about this i kind of thought it wasn't going to be as long so that was kind of throwing me but it's so comfortable it's so warm i do like that it's like a monochromatic and it's all one like the buttons kind of blend in and it's all just like even though it's kind of a bolder piece it's all one color so it doesn't feel as bold if you know what i mean need you to sound off though in the comments down below also with that white shirt um i went ahead and threw on this piece that i picked up and this is a sweater dress now it could be just like a tunic because it does have a high slit in the leg if i was wearing this out i would probably pair it with some thigh high boots i just threw on my little like slides again because girl my foot but um you could also i have a long like t-shirt dress i could pair this with as well but i just for the sake of this threw it on over that white button down and i think it's so cute the quality is nice this is thick you guys it's thick it's weighted it feels nice this is like really good quality for the price like so yeah if you're looking for a good sweater vest that's just a basic fit structure nothing like cinch not too tight not too loose i definitely recommend giving this one a go i love this and like i said you can wear this over jeans as well um but yeah i paired it as a dress okay so the last look with that white button down i went ahead and threw on a pair of um new jeans that i got from abercrombie these are their 90s straight ultra high rise they're just a basic dark medium dark wash jean no rips no nothing i actually really love these um and then i went ahead and threw on a sweater it's just kind of like an over just a different way to style a basic white um button down and i love it i will link both of those items down below as well okay this next sweater i got 
is kind of more cropped than I thought it would be. The quality is nice. It's a nice woven material. The sleeves are kind of like balloon sleeves a little bit. There's a little bit of a structure to them. It's just a little more cropped than I would have liked. So I will probably be taking this back. Um, crop sweaters just aren't really my thing because I don't I guess if you live in a really warm climate, it can make sense, but I guess I just don't really get it. And I think I'm a little too old for this cropped of a sweater. Um, I don't mind wearing cropped stuff to like the gym, things like that, but not like around. But if it's you, girl, do you and get it. It's, it's good quality. Okay, so this piece I got specifically hoping that it would be a dupe for um, the sweater vest that I got at Abercrombie and it's a pretty good one. So I got this in an extra small and I honestly could have sized down even more. This is pretty boxy and it almost has like shoulder blade effects because, or shoulder, shoulder pad, shoulder blades, shoulder pad effects because it comes out a little bit longer and it is kind of structured and thick. This is really soft. It feels like it's like wool. It sheds a lot, but that will stop. Um, it's this kind of creamy sort of color. It's long. What I like is that it has a large slit in the side so you can tuck the front in without it looking like bulgy, if that makes sense. Like it makes sense to tuck in the front if you want more of a structured fit to it. I went ahead and paired it again with this shirt that I showed in my last Abercrombie haul to see if I could recreate that look for a much more affordable price. Um, and I think it does the job. I love a good sweater vest. I think if you're wanting to jump on board with that trend this year, H&M is a great place to check out their sweater vests. Um, so yeah, that is literally all the pieces that I picked up from H&M. Came in a giant box. It looked way more than it was, but I had a ton of fun shopping these pieces. Everything um, that I showed, like I said, will be linked down below for you guys to check it out if you're interested in anything like i said please let me know if there's another brand that you want to see i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.